Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing well. In this video and in the next couple of videos, we're going to be solving some possible questions of the topic circular measure. So this is a question from May June 2021, paper 2, variant 2. So let's get straight to it. So it says here, DAB is a sector of a circle, all right? So DAB is a sector of a circle. So that instantly tells us that AD is, going to, is also going to be equal to the radius, therefore 18 centimeter. Uh, the line CB and CD are tangents to the circle and you can see the question has made a right angle over there and that means that we're going to have a right angle over here also, okay? Angle DAB is 7 over pi, uh, sorry, 7 pi over 9 radians, all right, thank you, we're going to need that. Find the perimeter of the shade region, okay? So if you want the perimeter of the shade region, again, let's, let's first put some thought into it before we start solving the entire question. So perimeter of the shade region basically involves three lengths, so here's one. All right, here, this is the arc length. And then here is the, uh, well, the length from B to C, okay? We don't know what to name it, but yeah, here's the third length. And the two lengths are gonna be the same because the triangles that you have, ABC and ADC, are basically congruent, okay? So we'll start by BD, all right? So here's arc, BD. And how do you find the arc length? The arc length is basically worked out by taking the radius and multiplying it by theta. The radius is 18 and theta is 7 pi over 9, so we'll just put the two together, 18 multiplied by 7 over 9 pi. So I can simplify 9 and 18, 9 ones are, 9 twos are, so 2 times 7 is 14 pi. Okay, so now we have the arc length, okay, we'll leave this in terms of pi only for now, because first let's find out the length from B to C, and which is going to be the same as uh, the length from D, D to C, and yeah. So if I want this length here, okay, I'll just put a question mark. So I'll have to use the one of the three trigonometric ratios. So the triangle that I'm going to consider is basically triangle ABC, okay? But before I can do that, we have to be careful that seven over nine pi is the entire angle, okay? And if you, if you draw a line from A to C, which was already drawn, but it was dotted, but if you draw a solid line, what this line will do is it will bisect the angle. That means it'll divide it by two, okay? So you have seven upon nine, all right, seven upon nine, and if I divide that by two further, so I get seven upon 18. So that basically means that this angle is seven over 18 pi. Now the length that we want is opposite of the angle, so that means the opposite length, the length that we have is adjacent to it, okay? So that means what uh, trigonometric ratio we're gonna be using, we're gonna be using tan. So tan of seven over 18 pi, let's put a bracket here, is equals to opposite upon adjacent, which is 18, so let's work this out. So tan of, let's make a bracket here, seven upon 18, seven upon 18. So make sure that you put pi with the numerator and not with the denominator, otherwise you'll just mess the whole thing up. And then multiplied by 18, so we're looking at 49.45. So that means the length from B to C is 49.4545, so on and so forth. Okay, now we can just put it all together. We can find out the sum of the two lengths, uh, the three lengths, in fact. So I'll do that with a different color. So the total is basically gonna be equal to the arc length from B to D, plus the length from B to C, the straight line length, and then the length from D to C, okay? So now we're just putting it all together. So 49.45, if this is 49.45, so I'll just erase this and write 49.45 here, that means this is also going to be 49.45. So not 49.5, in fact, 49.45. So I'll just multiply this length by two. Now I have the sum of both of them. And in it, I'm gonna add this 14 pi right here. So plus 14 along with pi. And now we're looking at 142.89, but remember we have to give our final answer correct to three significant figures. So our answer is going to be, it's either going to be 142 or 143, but since it's closer to 143, it has to be 143. And since it's perimeter, so we'll write centimeter. Centimeter, yeah, centimeter. Okay, then it says find the area of the shade region. Very predictable. So area of the shade region theoretically can be worked out by first finding out the area of the triangle. That's the larger shape and then from it subtracting the area of the sector and then multiplying by two. Okay, so let me tell you what I what I mean by that. So what I mean by that is that first we'll find out the area of the, the shape that I've drawn in red, the triangle, and then from it we'll have to subtract the area of the shape which I'm now highlighting in blue and that's just gonna give me one half of the area of the shade region. So if I want the entire thing, I'm gonna have to multiply it by two. So let's do that, let's do that over here. So let's first write that down, that area of shaded region is equals to area of 
triangle. And which triangle are we talking about here? We're talking about ABC. ABC minus the area of the sector. Which sector are we talking about here? If I call this point X, so we're talking about BAX, area of sector BAX. And once we have this, we're going to multiply it by 2, okay? Or if you want, you can first find out the area of the entire shape, which is a quadrilateral, and then from it, subtract the area of the sector. But since we neither have the area of the entire sector, nor do we have the area of the entire shape, so it's just best to break it up this way, okay? Now, if I want the area of the triangle ABC, the good thing is that we've done all the hard work for that. So we have 49.5 and we have 18, okay? So we have this length and we have this length right here. So I'll do half times 18 times, what was the other length? 49.45, 49.45. So I'm using that as 49.45 because this is not my final answer. Minus the area of the sector, okay? So area of sector means half R squared. So that means 18 squared times theta. So theta, remember, is not going to be 7 over 9. In fact, it's going to be 7 over 18 because that's the half angle, okay? And then once I work this out in my calculator, of course, I'm just going to multiply the whole thing by 2. Okay, so let's just make a bracket here and write times 2. Okay, so now I'm working this out. This is it. 1.2 times 18 times 49.45. Okay, so I'm going to keep this in my calculator for now. And then I'm going to subtract uh, 0.5 times 18 squared or half times 18 squared, whatever way you wish to write it as, or into 7 over 18 pi. Remember to keep pi with the numerator only and not with the denominator. Okay, so now I have the area of half of the shaded region. So I'm looking at 247 point something. So if I want the area of the entire thing, I'll just multiply this answer by 2. And now I'm looking at the area of the shaded region, which turns out to be... 494.25 and as per the rule we have to give our answer correct to three significant figures so this is either going to be 494 or 495 since it's closer to 494 so it's going to be 494 centimeter square and there you go that's your final answer and with this we are done with this question also and that brings me to the end of this video i hope you guys have understood this i'll see you guys in the next video with another possible question so until then take care Bye bye